Hello folks, my name is Raj Kapoor and I've been in the crypto blockchain space since the last 12 years. Development, architecture, everything and much more. This session is very critical. It's the blockchain, the India scenario. Now we forget for a moment what's happening in the rest of the world. Let's look India. Do you all do you know that in 2020, the first major initiative by the government of India was initiated by the Niti Aayog. It actually took out a paper on blockchain. It advised the government, the Niti government of uh, Niti Aayog is the government of India's think tank, and it advised the government that blockchain is going to be a revolutionary technology for the nation. They advised them on the application areas, what would be the right things to do on blockchain, what are the challenges, etc., etc. That happened in 2020, and then guess what happened? We got COVID. Sorry. Everything was put on hold, but in spite of COVID, the National Information Corporation, the NIC, which is the government of India's IT arm, took out another paper. Why am I telling you all this? It'll help you understand the evolution of this technology from a government perspective. Private enterprise moves fast. People think government moves slow. Sorry, guys, it doesn't move really slow. It was very fast. It picked up very fast. So the NIC report was a beautiful report, which talked about all the projects, especially from a government perspective, that can be implemented in a nation as large and diverse as ours. It was a beautiful document, and you can download this document from the internet. These are all public domain documents. Do that. Then another bout of COVID, a lot of unrest, a lot of things in distress. But come January 2021, a very major document was published. And that document was published by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, also as we know as MIT. What did they publish? They published the National Blockchain Strategy. That's right. No other technology has a national strategy. Have you ever, ever heard of the AI strategy or the cloud strategy or the IoT strategy? or robotics no only one technology warranted that document from the government's ministry the national blockchain strategy download it if you like but a synopsis of that identified areas of application it identified challenges it identified future scope training etc lots of things again came covid but come december came the second part of that strategy, a more enhanced part of the strategy, December 2021, not even just a few months back. That's really relevant. Why? It said we need blockchain and we need to have regulations, frameworks and policies around that. Download the documents. That was the evolution from a government perspective. It took out all these three, four documents in a span of just two years. Starting with just five or six use cases, Today, we have more than 90 projects rolled out by the government of India across 14 states. And that's wonderful. Wonderful because we see a lot of adoption. In fact, the Tamil Nadu government has its own policy, not just a strategy document, the only state in the country that has a policy on blockchain. Now, isn't that interesting? Other states are going to follow suit. I'm sure this is just the beginning. One of the key things which I would like to highlight here is the document pointed out we don't have awareness in blockchain. We don't have the full knowledge in the blockchain. And that's why it's very critical we understand it better. For it to succeed, we need to be educated. We need to be aware. And that's missing. It's obvious we never had this few years back just a few years back nobody talked about blockchain in fact whenever i would talk about blockchain people would ask me sir shall i invest in bitcoin well bitcoin is not blockchain and blockchain is not bitcoin they're not interchangeable bitcoin is a great use case on blockchain but it is not blockchain in itself guys so the government made it clear that we need awareness we need regulations we need standards we need it to be more organized and for that, we all need education. So my first thing is get the education bit in place. And that's what we're here to help you. 
Well, the second thing they said, there are going to be lots of jobs in the India market. A NASCOM report in 2021 came up with this. Right now, we have about 40 to 50,000 jobs in the blockchain space. Great. But by 2030, and mind you, this is a staggering number, we will need 800,000 professionals working in the blockchain space. The journey from 50,000 to 800,000 is going to be a very long journey. And without education, not going to be complete. We weren't born with that skill, guys. It's a very new, new skill. Also, and these skills are best because blockchain is that one technology which actually gives you everything, tech and non-tech. So there are fantastic jobs for technical and non-technical people. So the job market is growing. And in one of my series, I'll be talking about lots more in this space. But for now, be aware, the job market is really growing. The opportunities in India are immense. Government adoption, big time. India blockchain strategy is being now talked everywhere. We are talking about crypto policies. We are talking about strategy. But there are challenges which we need to overcome. Challenges like taxation, frameworks, rules, regulations. But the future is in blockchain, folks. And the future is now. Thank you so much for listening in to me. I'll be back with you very soon. Goodbye for now.